Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today I am playing some more Spore Galactic Adventures pack. Well, we're not quite on the Galactic Adventures yet, but we are, however, finally in the tribal stage. Bloody hell, these guys are making a lot of noise and apparently they're fighting. Okay, so we've just moved into tribal stage and as you can see, we are currently right bang in the middle of this. Which, and this being uh, omnivorous shit. Okay, well anyway, what... <laughs> Bloody hell brain, come on. So what we're going to be doing, uh, basically this time, we're going to be figuring out the best route to trying to progress. And this, I would say, is probably a bit of a slow start, because I have to explain things and other stuff. So we've got a couple of abilities here that I haven't actually seen before, because I've never played an omnivore. So we have Beastmaster. Don't know what that does quite, and Flying Fish. Let's try this, shall we? Flying Fish. Is this like a... Is this gonna like bring loads of fish over here or something? Okay, I probably just wasted that, but it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do right away is we are going to send these guys... I think possibly over here. Yes, yeah, let's do that. And also people said that I should uh, try and tame some, um, some animals. So that is what we're going to do. Oh, you need 15 food. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we'll send this guy over here as well. We'll leave this young one in the camp, and we'll set all these guys to foraging. So at this point in time, we can pretty much eat anything we want. And there we are. Okay, so that's good. And another thing to sort out before we start... Oh, god, they're a horrible colour. It's like... Burgundy brown? That's horrible. Okay, so what we're going to do anyway is we're going to go into the travel planner and we are going to, yes we know, we're going to do this. We're going to basically outfit our tribal members with some funky clothes, which are going to increase our ability to do certain things. And obviously as an omnivore, what we want to do is try and have the best of both worlds. Now last time as you can see we actually finalised the design of our creature and I'm, I'm pretty happy. I actually really like the design of these wings. They're pretty cool. I like it indeed. Uh, people, people are like, oh my god, raptors don't have wings. Well, you know what, it's Spore, they can in my mind, so stop being picky, you silly people. So, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be trying to have a good mix of these things. Obviously we need combat skills as well as social skills. So what we can do is we can probably bung these masks on. So that will give us level 2 combat. But we also probably want level 2 social ability. So I'm just going to bung that on. I know it's not the best looking thing in the world, but I'm just going for practicality's sake. We've also got health and gathering type things. I think they're the best social things that we're going to have right now, if I'm not mistaken. So we could have some nice health. That'd be nice. Level 2 health. Is there anything better? This is not going to help us at all. Level two, level three health. There we go. Gathering and social level two. So in fact, that would be better than putting this on, wouldn't it? Gathering and social. I know it's a hat, but I don't much care to be honest. Oh, we could sort of use it as a shield, I suppose. Now, what do I have to press A? So I have to hold down A and then oh god, it's not the right thing. And then put this on here, like so. So let's do this. That looks like a pretty cool shield. It's a bit sort of hovering off his arm, but we'll ignore that fact. Okay, so that's given us social level 2, combat 2, and gathering level 2. Now we probably want something that's going to give us high health to round this off. I mean, yes, I know it's not like the coolest looking thing, but at the same time, not too bothered. So what we can do is probably put this like on his knees or something. There we go. Yeah, I do realise that I could make him look pretty, ga pretty damn cool, but I'm just going for the... Uh, the optimum leveling right now. I'm not going to bother with any of this other stuff as well, because we're we're going to change all of this eventually anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oh wow, well, we can actually change the colour of our guy. That's good to know. It's like body paint or something. Okay, well I kind of like this. I'm feeling slightly tempted to change it though, but I don't know whether this is going to make them look rubbish. Let's just try it, shall we? What does this look like? Pink, sort of. Quite like that, actually. Yeah, let's go with it. There you go. Wonderful. Okay, so today, so today, sorry, the plan that we're going to be trying to do is we are going to be trying to expand as much as we can, try and figure out 
uh, what exactly we need to do. Obviously, we're sort of in the middle. I think the first tribe we're going to kill is going to be... Sorry, God, what am I trying to say here? The first tribe that comes up, we're going to kill to drag it back down towards the aggressive. And then we're going to try and focus then on the more friendly side. Don't know whether that's the best way of going about it, but I've never played this before, so who knows? This guy, you can start... What is this Beastmaster thing? Can we go over here? Oh, there we go. God, these guys are ugly. They have many limbs. Dare I ask if they're friendly or not? I'd assume that they go either way. So I think the game actually changes the tribes to be sort of a mix of both, depending on what you've chosen. Rival tribe of Zargot has formed on your planet. Tribal chieftain leaves your tribe. Your tribe can go into combat without the chief, but the chief is necessary for any social encounters with other tribes. Chieftain also invokes any of your tribe's consequence abilities. So yours is your consequence ability. First link to your chieftain, then click on the ability you'd like to use. I'd really like more information about this. Uh, there's not really much we can do about it, um, but I suppose we're just going to have to deal with it, really. Okay, so we'll get that guy on the meaty side. It doesn't really matter what we eat at all, uh, but we're just going to stick with that. And I'm thinking, actually, yeah, what are these guys? They're neutral. Okay, interesting. Now, they are pretty weak, so what we could do is just go straight over there and kill them. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do. We can get another couple of babies out. But we're going to go straight over there. Can we not... Oh, it requires larger heart. Okay. So what we're actually going to do... Yeah, we're going to go straight over there. We could get some weapons, actually. Let's have a look. Have we actually got any weapons? Wooden horns and throwing spears. But the thing is, they're so early in development that we can just take them out. So it makes no difference. Oh, dear God. Hello. Epic blah blah. What we're going to do, we're going to come over here ambush these suckers. So let's take out their chieftain. We should be able to take these guys down pretty damn quickly. We'll take out the chieftain first because that staff that he's carrying actually classifies as every single upgraded weapon and tool in the game, which is obviously not very useful indeed. So we'll get rid of him, he's the biggest threat, and then obviously we'll get rid of the others. Unfortunately I think we are going to struggle a little bit here, uh, but we should... There we go, wild animals are coming to steal our food. Yeah, it's okay. I know we could probably pump out a couple more babies, actually. That might be useful. Let's go back over here. So yeah, all four of these... are not doing great, to be honest, are we? Hmm, actually, we're... We're pretty badly damaged. I think the problem is that we've gone for them and they've pumped them out pretty quickly. So we, as soon as we kill them, there's more. So now we've just got the tribal chieftain. You know what, we're going to actually retreat. There's no point at this time. Beastmaster, don't know what that does. Should we do it here? Uh, possibly not the best place to do that, actually. Yeah, can we, should we go back to the base? Might be a good idea. Come on, come on. Okay, you start collecting food, because we're going to need to uh, beef up our numbers again. Because I was an idiot and wasn't patient. Which is incredibly annoying indeed. In fact, uh, is this guy going to just keep attacking us? Yeah, he is, isn't he? So I'll tell you what, I'll kill him. And we shall carry on and see what happens. Unfortunately, I think we might lose our tribal chieftain here. Let's see if we can uh, micro this one. This guy away. Unfortunately, I think not, because this guy has spit, but there we are. Oh no, we we're fine. Managed to save him quickly, which is very good indeed. So in fact, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to send these guys over here to collect our food again. If there's actually any around here, that'd be nice. Um, and this guy's going to heal up, which is exactly what we wanted. Unfortunately, we should probably not have attacked them, because they're now going to get a big lead on us. They have only got one guy, though. So if we attacked now, we could take them out, but we'd be a bit behind. It's tempting. Come on, it's one versus three. They can't do anything about it, can they? Come on, they've got no food, for God's sake. Okay, yep, yeah, we're going to kill this guy. He's only got 11 health as well, for God's sake. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's just go and do it. We could be very sneaky and steal their food. Uh, what I might get the tribal chief to do, because he's a bit low. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. 
Dear God, I hope this guy doesn't attack us. Why is he running over there? What an idiot. And now he's born another baby, so I have to go and kill the two babies. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, possibly not the best thing to be doing here. Is this guy going to run away and be an absolute pain in the ass? Yeah, he is. Yeah, brilliant. These guys are actually cause quite a bit of trouble. I don't like that at all. Actually, the Beastmaster thing means that these guys are on my side, which is pretty damn cool as well. Unfortunately, though, there's now another chieftain over here and some other stuff. So we're going to have to deal with these guys. God damn it, that is a pain in the arse. And our chieftain's probably going to take a bit of a pounding here. But these beasts are going to come over and help us. Oh no, okay, apparently that dead body just came over here and died over here again. Not quite sure how that works. Is this guy going to attack us? No, he isn't. The problem with tribal stages, you never know quite what to do, because now they've got no food, but we're probably going to lose a few of our guys. So it's questionable. People will probably say that I went in too early to attack these guys. I think actually this is what I did in the uh, carnivore stage. And I took it a bit quickly. But there's not really much we can do. And it would help if actually the AI wasn't so derped that some of my guys were literally just standing completely still. That would be nice. But apparently that's what we do. So there you go, now the Troubled Chieftain is actually attacking him. We might actually do some damage, but we've already lost another guy. So it makes it almost w not worth the hassle. But we're going to kill this baby before he turns into an adult. See what I mean about this silly AI? So derpy. Okay, now we're going to take this hut down. It's our sworn enemy, apparently. This is going to take a while, but they have no food, so... You could argue, actually, that this is the right call. What I might do is cut it until this is down, because no one's going to want to watch this. Okay, so this hut's almost down, which is going to give us our first totem piece, as you will see momentarily. Here we go. So unfortunately, I mean, there's ups and downsides to this. You could argue, actually, that this was the right thing to do, uh, because obviously we're going to be in a bit of a deficit with food for a while. However, because we're an omnivore, the next village we're actually going to face, we're going to try and make friends with. So you could argue that we could actually get away with being in a bit of a food deficit. It swings and roundabouts, so I think I did the right thing. You've destroyed the brown village. Your totem grows and new tools and outfits have been looted from the fallen tribe and added to your tribal planner. There we go. We're going to get an improved camp. And possibly... Oh no, maybe... I was thinking we'd get, like, improved fishing hooks, but I didn't actually take note of what we got. Not sure. So we'll have to see actually how much that dragged us down into the aggressive thing. Your tribe grows in prestige, you have a larger hut to show for it, and your tribe can now sustain up to nine tribe members. Okay, so let's get these guys home. They're obviously going to need to sort themselves out. Oh wow, okay, yeah, so you need to be quite careful. Just to put it into perspective, this was, <laughs> this was up here. So it's dragged it all the way down there, so you need to be a bit careful, actually. Which is good to know. So basically, you need to kill a tribe, then make friends with the tribe, then kill another tribe, and then make friends with them. You need to alternate them. Which is good, because we know that we can prepare for it. So the next one we definitely need to make friends with. Uh, this one, unfriendly, unfriendly, very unfriendly. Not the best, really. I think possibly they're all unfriendly because the first one I killed was... Well, killed. <laughs> mm, not sure about that one. But what we are going to get is better stuff here. So we're going to see what we unlocked. Possibly nothing particularly good. Just have a look. It might be worth it. Health level 5. That's maximum health. So that's actually pretty damn good. Uh, have we got anything else? Nothing of use... We can put this health on, actually, that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Put this... Actually, let's, let's do one of these. Oh, no, it's not shift. What am I doing? It's A. Okay, so we're going to put this on his other arm. That doesn't look quite right, but it's going to give us epic health, which we might possibly need in order to survive in this world. Especially as it doesn't actually cost us anything to put on there. It's worth having. Okay, so now you guys, I need you to... Actually, no, we'll get you to start gathering. That'd be good. So he's going to have the quicker gathering speeds. 
Okay, and aside from that, really, we're just on a waiting game. I'm fearing this green village. I'm actually fearing all of them, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what we could possibly do... How much food we got? No food. Not the best situation to be facing, actually, against three villages which are fairly hostile. There we are. Nothing we can do about it, but it's something to consider. So we're basically going to be on a waiting game now until we get enough food. I suppose what we could do... Hang on, what? Can we, like, beast master these guys to be friendly? Yeah, apparently so. I don't know what this actually does. I'm sure people will actually put that in the comments next time, but I've never come across it before, so God bloody knows what it does. Are they just, like, ignoring me for a bit? Or are they protecting me, or...? What do you do? What do you do, indeed? Socialise a wild creature. Ten creatures will take up your home in your corral and produce eggs for your tribe to harvest. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I think someone said something about this in the comments last time, so I think I will do that as soon as I've got enough infrastructure to do so. Is this guy actually doing anything, or is he just standing still like an idiot? You are just standing still like an idiot, actually, aren't you? God damn it, game. What is wrong with you? Okay, so we go. So I think, is the idea with this that we can lead these guys into other villages and then just attack them with them? I suppose that makes sense, but I think I'm going to focus mainly on getting some more of these guys churned out first before we tame the creatures. Because I think you need 15 meat in order to do that, or 15 food even. So do these guys gain back their aggressive stance once they're out of this? It does look like they do. And the flying fish thing again, I'd like to know what that actually does. I'm sure you could look this up. But, there we are. Okay, so we're going to get another guy here, which is obviously going to be very useful indeed. Uh, we can't even tame any creatures, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but we're going to now get this guy, because it doesn't really matter on to collecting food. Let's do that right now. Hmm... Okay, no one's attacked us yet. Green villagers at max, so they're likely to go for us. Especially as they're very aggressive. Yep, there we go. I bet it's green as well. Called it. Unfortunately, I think we might be wiped out here. It's not looking good. So yeah, here they come. Unfortunately, yeah, there isn't much we can do about it. The camera's being a massive derp as well, which doesn't help. Uh, and they've got axes. Well, that's not good at all, is it, really? Uh, God damn it. Can we gift them? Need at least ten food? Well, if this guy puts his food down, we can probably gift them to keep them away. Yes, let's gift them. Nope, can't gift them, apparently. Right, okay, well, apparently they don't attack until you have... Yeah, we're screwed here. I mean, there's nothing much we can do. We can pump out another baby, I suppose. I suppose the good thing is that we do have the health advantage. But aside from that, we don't really have much that we can do about it. we will try and take this guy down. Can't even really see what health he's got. Let's have a look. Can you twist this around? 16-3... They're going to try and take out our things. Let's try and distract them. God, the controls in this game are awful. I say this every single time. So now people are raiding us, probably from the pink village now. Were there any raiding, like... Yeah, it was as well. Bloody hell, the pink and the blue village are raiding us. Can't even click on this guy because the game's a massive spaz. We should be able to defend against this. Actually, that's a question. Oh wow, it, just killing people does drag you into the other thing. So actually, this will probably drag us into aggressive. Which is not what we want at all. So what I suggest we actually do is make friends with the Cyan village. Well, actually, no, we could make friends with the Green village. That might be a good idea. Because unfortunately, I think now we're going to be dragged... Oh, God damn it, that is a pain in the arse, isn't it? 
basically we need to get this hut down as quickly as possible in order to get this uh oh, yeah see look, i bet this is one more and i bet it drags us into the aggressive which is not really ideal there's nothing really we can do about it but we're going to just have to deal with what we've got unfortunately the game has decided to give us three aggressive tribes these other guys won't actually attack us they'll only start stealing our food it's the red guy here which is going to cause the problems uh actually we've managed to keep in here so what I suggest we're going to do is just go on a massive gathering spree for a little bit. Gather our resources and then put down that hut. But in the meantime, that seems like a good place to end the episode. It's been a bit of an iffy one, but tribal stage is always a bit difficult. In my opinion, it's the hardest stage. Uh, so there we are. If you enjoy the episode, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Tell me what those two things do, please. I'd very much like to know for next time. And also leave a like, because that shows that you're actually enjoying the series and it makes me want to make more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.